Hi, this video is proudly sponsored, proudly sponsored by Manta Sleep Mask. This is the Manta Sleep Mask. And Manta are a company that want to redefine the image of napping, of having a restorative sleep and in doing so have cultivated a series of products that are designed to help and enhance the users sleeping and I'd like to very much share with you today the Manta warm mask. Now the warm mask is two microwavable pads and these little pads are self-hydrating zeolite beads. A little bit scientific but what these pads do is help your eyes rehydrate. And there's something quite comforting about having two heated pads around the eye. You pop them in the microwave and then very simply velcro them into place. Now, I cannot stress how comfortable this is. Near full blackout and the heated pads create such a relaxing dynamic that sleep comes easily but please click the link below and check Manta Sleep Mask enjoy the video Hi my name is Matt and it's very good to meet you congratulations on deciding to Now, face mapping can be traced back a long, long time ago, originating in Asia, in China specifically. And the premise behind face mapping is that each zone of the face corresponds to a different organ or a different group of organs in some cases. And by examination, we're able to assess the healthiness and the well-being of the organ or organ set. The idea that the eyes are the window to the soul, well, that's the same principle, but this extends. The face is a very open, plain window to the internal organ, to your digestive system, to your hormone balance, to your heart, kidneys, how are we filtering water? And this was um, a system and approach has been, has been refined for hundreds of years, and perfected in the opinions of some. So, I'd like to introduce you to our map and let me talk you through what the map looks like and exactly what I mean. So one and two, we have our bladder and our small intestine that's largely representing your T-zone. Your liver, you see in the center, a little bit extension, a little extension. 
extension of that. The kidneys and the liver beneath the eye. Your heart sits right in the center of the face, just like it does in the chest. Your nose being uh, the facial version of your heart. Your stomach, nine and ten, sitting either side of the heart. colon and the spleen colon's here the spleen being above the top lip the stomach and the intestines being covered by the healthiness of your lips your lungs sitting below just below your cheekbones and above Kidney and bladder again, just sitting on the chin. And the 14th point of face mapping is a little bit contentious, but the neckline. Um, but we'll cover it because I like to be comprehensive. And that was obviously a very, very quick rundown of the face. But what today's consultation will be primarily focusing is the inspection of these zones and if we're seeing any irritation, any redness, any dry skin, what we can do to change things up in our day-to-day -day habit, in our, in our diet perhaps, to remedy some of these early warning signs. But before we do that, before we get a little bit more detailed. One of the common themes in face mapping is understanding clean hydration. Clean hydration, okay. Clean hydration. And how do we accomplish clean hydration? We drink lots and lots of water. Now, water is the the quickest thing that we default to I'm giving someone advice drink more water drink more water unfortunately it can't be understated just how helpful lots of water actually is our body as you already know is 70% water and cells will find it a little bit easier if uh, some of the building blocks it uses filtered water as opposed to the sugary mess that our kidneys has to try and reduce back to water okay I'm not a fizzy drinks fan for obvious reasons but moderation is the key so with that in mind are you comfortable good before we begin the examination we'll do two things that are paramount as far as I'm concerned for us to get the maximum benefit from your session today. And the first thing is, unsurprisingly, you might have seen as you were walking in the well in the front garden. Well, that is attached to a spring that little cube in the middle. I was actually getting a physical examination uh, just last week actually and a man also named Matt, a glorious name clearly, he recommended, actually he didn't, he asked me to guess the sound that one of these things would make and I had no idea it was an ice cube. Turns out they're filled with a liquid um, and you can freeze them in the freezer and they make the water nice and cold. I need to get 
my own glass of water. Cheers. Good. Refreshing, right? A little twist of lemon in there. Just keeps uh, water interesting, as far as I'm concerned. Now, I said there was two things we have to do before we proceed to the examination. And the second thing is a quick exfoliation. And the reason we want to do that is we want to make sure that we have a blank canvas to remove any, any oiliness that uh, isn't typical. When you come out of the shower, after a couple of hours, that is peak performance for face mapping. Not at the end of the day after maybe you've been sweating a little bit, maybe you applied some makeup. We want a clean canvas as the body is generating it and presenting it for us. So, if you're sitting comfortably, and this is an argan oil based moisturizer and exfoliator. Very good. And just simply with the application of the exfoliator, see your skin is just shining up a little bit. Good. Wonderful. So it's a two stage serum. So it's cleansing and then restoring. It's a beautiful little product and again, it's a staple to our assessment. So again, So right now we're just focusing on this little triangle, the small intestines and the bladder, the small intestines again taking up that T-zone and the bladder intersecting. So your T-zone after exfoliation, moisturization, looks 
very healthy. Now typically, if we want to try and improve our digestive system, the tracts, we want to be eating a little bit less processed food. We want to uh, reduce the amount of fat in our diet, increase water intake, which will be a common theme throughout our examination. And um, maybe unsurprisingly, this area here and here, the bladder, responds particularly well to cooling treatments. So if you have access to uh, something like a Manta face mask, they do a cooling option variety, you'll find that it can really help lower inflammation, help with uh, any dryness that you find, especially in this T-zone as well. So bladder, small intestine. Less fatty foods, less processed foods especially, okay? And really, uh, if you can get a cooling treatment, even cucumber, some cucumber slices over the eyes and a couple on the forehead, can work wonders, okay? But we won't go into too much uh, further here because this T-zone looks, looks healthy. Typically, I can see redness, uh, again, a breakout of, of dry skin, perhaps, but not in your case. So, well done to you. Keep doing whatever you're doing. Now, just below, just above the nose, between the eyes, we have the liver. Now the liver is especially susceptible to alcohol. If you're drinking quite heavily, um, your liver will be the first zone to flare up. And also the liver in particular uh, reacts quite strongly to allergies if you're allergic to a certain foodstuff. You might often see irritation between the eyes and above the nose, just, just there. Okay. And I see a little bit of redness, a little bit of tenderness. Do you, uh, do you party a lot? Are you, okay. I'm more of a stay at home, can I do it myself? But maybe you like to stay home with the drink, maybe a little bit too much wine. If you're not a huge drinker, then again, I would suggest that maybe you have an allergen test. These can be arranged at uh, your local clinic. They'll do a quick uh, strip test, a little smear test with individual allergens such as peanuts, orange juices, common uh, occurrences, even a little bit of seafood extract painted on, usually onto the back you might see uh, an immediate reaction in some cases from any kind of allergy. Okay. I'd also um, encourage trying to incorporate a little bit of exercise. The liver again responds well to the body exercising. In fact, the liver, maybe of all of our organs, is perhaps the most impressionable. And the liver is impacted enormously by uh, our sleeping patterns. So allergens, sleeping pattern, too much alcohol. Try and keep these things managed. Try and make sure you get your eight, who am I kidding, maybe six hours sleep a night. But aim for eight. Get into the routine of falling asleep to allow yourself the eight hours. If you get up at 7 every night, make sure you're getting to bed at 10.30 every night. Give yourself 30 minutes, maybe play on the phone, whatever you want to do. Get comfortable and get to sleep. Give your body that window of 8 hours. And you'd be surprised how well the body 
responds to routine. You start releasing hormones, um, chemicals. Your body will do this instinctively knowing that you're getting up at this point. And when it does get up, you're more prepared to react to the day. Okay? I appreciate we elaborate a little bit further there on the liver. But we're just seeing a little bit of redness. And it's worth elaborating on. Okay? Now, kidneys. Four, five, seven, eight. Just here. Here. And the ears. So your ears. Ears look okay. A little bit of heat coming from uh, tops of ears. If you were in the UK, they would be saying that someone's talking about you because your ears are burning. I always found that could be quite a strange expression. <laughs> it's um, one that you might hear. A little bit of a residual acne to the side there. Um, now the kidneys, um, any blemishes around, uh, just underneath the eye, or dark circles. Um, if we're seeing some redness, the tops of the ears. The easiest solution to um, kidneys not functioning as well as we perhaps would like is drink water. And lots of it. Even tap water is better than drinking almost anything else, with the exception of maybe some nice spring and mineral water. And even then, these can be a little bit of a uh, bit of a fad, but you want to make sure that you're drinking lots of water. Okay? Okay, there's nothing, nothing too severe. Okay, but something to uh, to keep an eye on. Okay. Now, four, five, seven, eight. I'd like to move on to the heart. The heart. Just onto the nose there. And okay. So yeah, we're a little bit, a little bit of inflammation in the nose there. A lot. A lot. Okay, so the first thing I would recommend with our heart is try and replace fats, bad fats, with good fats. What is a good fat? Omega-3 and 6 oils contain good fats. Um, you'll find this in avocados, in nuts, fish. Extensive studies have been done on the benefits of omega-3 and 6. Um, and it's not something that uh, I think is, is heard enough by people. Cut down the intake of fried foods. And I love fried food. I really do. Um, try and increase vitamin B intake a little bit on your spicy foods. Okay. Less bad fats, less spicy foods. We don't need to cut anything out. Nothing needs to be stopped. Face mapping is just a guide to what we're seeing. Okay. It just gives us a little roadmap to get you back to your optimal self. Okay. Again, 
things like avocados are expensive but if you can get some some fresh fish and some nuts uh, so your body will find it enormously helpful in that variety is really what the body wants okay the body likes routine in lots of things but it doesn't like routine with its diet all right it likes variety and it doesn't like too much of one thing and that applies even to some vegetables but specifically with spicy fried food okay and if my mother was able to see this she would be the one saying your diet is pretty awful what are you talking Okay, <laughs> and something the heart responds quite well to in face mapping is fresh air. Uh, if you can get out for a walk every couple of days, get some fresh air, you'll find that inflammation might dissipate a little bit. Okay, dissipate a little bit. <laughs> okay, all right. move on to eleven and twelve. Now this is an extension of the digestive system, but also hormones. The colon really uh, responds very well to being moderation and a different variety of foods um, our hormones just in this area here it's covering the extension of the digestion and your hormones and they respond especially to um, to poor amounts of sleep all right if you're not sleeping well your hormones digestive system really do suffer okay now as somebody who doesn't sleep as much as I should I can absolutely concur to you that we need to establish healthy sleeping patterns um, again if you can get some leafy vegetables into your diet it really helps with colon with your hormone balancing Having uh, some green leafy vegetables really make a sizable difference, as does copious amounts of water. Okay, water, water, water. You can also find that herbal tea can help. Green teas as well can help to lower the toxins in the body, which again, toxins really burden the hormonal function of our body and of course our digestive system okay now the stomach your lips and just above your lip just have a little look here okay okay mm -hmm. Now, similar to the, the hormones, the stomach responds very well to herbal teas, to green teas. Notice you've got a little bit of dryness on the lips, and uh, above the lip looks okay. A little bit of dryness, nothing to be too alarmed about. Um, of course, if you have a beard like myself, access to the top lip is a little bit harder. Okay, and your lips generally again uh, look okay. A little bit dry though. Okay, so let's look to try and introduce, similar to the hormones, some herbal teas, uh, lots of water, and again reduce uh, reduce our toxin intake. Okay, the stomach is especially susceptible to taking in too much acid as well. If you can try and bring your alkaline levels up a little bit higher, um, 
consuming less acidic foods, drinking less acidic drinks. Okay. And unfortunately, a lot of it boils back to water. Water is it's the majority of our body. And if you can make drinking water a part of your day, you will overall have a healthier body. That's just, uh, it's understood. And uh, that's just life, unfortunately. <laughs> now, 14. Some zones do bleed into others. But your neck actually looks, it looks good. We have no redness, no irritations. The skin looks healthy. Now, this zone 14, we usually recommend it can show signs of poor relaxation. Taking a yoga or a meditation class. Um, surprising a little bit more water in your diet. But um, your neck can actually show illness. Even obviously your, your glands can be swollen a little bit. But your neck looks good. Hmm? I think uh, of all the regions, I think uh, your small intestine and the uh, hormone line on the neck looks good. Points to work on if we're being critical. The heart there and the liver, the center point looked a little bit inflamed, a little bit red. Um, and the nose, a little bit of inflammation, a little bit of dry skin there. Let's work on that. Let's work on reducing bad fats. Omega-3 and 6 oils. Let's go for them. Let's try and incorporate some fish into the diet. Um, and really, if you can, expensive as they are, avocado is a wonderful, wonderful addition to a diet. Unfortunately, the whole world is becoming aware of this. I shouldn't say unfortunately. I mean, selfishly speaking, for us, the whole world is becoming aware of the benefits of avocado, which makes them extraordinarily expensive in some cases. And I completely understand that. Okay. I'd also recommend uh, vitamin B intake as well. I didn't mention it earlier. It's great for the heart. If you can get a little bit of sun from some vitamin D, supplements are fine. I'd maybe take vitamin D along with... Uh, something like a vitamin K uh, those supplement and, and coefficient very well together um, but on the whole I think your face looks beautiful other than the two little zones your liver and your heart I think you're looking really quite wonderful okay increase the water intake of course increase the water Try and establish that sleep pattern. If you struggle with getting to sleep at night, open up YouTube, type in GB ASMR. Okay. Type in type in Famcam ASMR. Type in whatever works for you. ASMR cranial nerve examination. Whatever works for you, but 
try and get your body in turn into the pattern of sleeping at good times, at healthy times, and for long periods of time. Right. And again, think of this map of your face whenever you want to do something that you know probably shouldn't be doing. Think of Larry here. Larry the face map. Everything we do, our body has to deal with. Everything that we consume, our body has to digest and absorb and pass. Make it easy for yourself. Okay, I touched on having the right building blocks to build the kind of cells that we need. Our body goes through a transition every month where we're remaking trillions of cells. Again, give your body the right materials and make that job easy. Okay. Lean foods, get some vegetables in there and take care of your skin. Okay. Moisturize. Go and get a facial if you want to. Get a massage. Get the blood flowing to these cheeks. Help your body help itself. Your body is what is what we are. Okay. Too much time we spend living up here an entire body attached to our minds. The body is the house that our mind lives in. Happy house, happy mind. Okay? I'm a firm believer in that. Do not underestimate the importance of moderation. And again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have that chocolate bar, enjoy that cheeseburger, eat that uh, fried zucchini, Whatever your go-to is. Life is about balance. You need to have fun. You need to have satisfaction and fulfillment. Don't starve yourself of these things. Just try and do it in a moderated fashion. A moderated fashion. Okay? Excellent. Now, I'll ask you to finish your glass of water. Everything that we've discussed today, we'll have written up into a report for you, and it's very illustrative, very graphical, very easy for you to understand, and the talking points that you can improve upon, okay? Don't even think about it as an improvement, think about it as an enhancement, okay? You've taken the steps, you've recognized that maybe Face mapping is something I want to look into. Follow it to the end and live the benefits. Okay. Thank you so much. It's always fantastic to see somebody taking a real interest, a real interest in their health and their well being, both mentally and physically. support.